Welcome back to a brand new video. And I made a mistake for this car, but it's not really, and I'll explain that later on. But this is Bubba Wallace's 2018 number 43 Petty's Garage Medallion Bank 124 Diecast. Wow, I never reviewed 124s, especially the new ones. So, uh, yeah, let's open it up. Since when are these cars on a base? I don't remember them being on bases. What the heck? Uh, okay, I'm gonna see if I can take this off first, I guess. So this is totally not the next day because it took me like an hour to get the platform off. This car has some issues, to say the least, I guess we could say. And let's just start with the major issue. I put some Instagram. Uh, why not? Hello? Hello? Okay, that's that. I don't hear anything. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where it is. Another problem is that Lionel took a big step down with their uh, standard cars. Um, because I was looking at my cars. I'm pretty sure these are the standard versions. And I mean, the detail. What happened here, Lionel? Okay, I can't really show. Actually, hold on. I don't want that to fall. Oh, I can't do negative? Sounds like this. You need to get a new phone. Yeah. Um... The detail, no detail. These cars are also a lot heavier. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, maybe this is an Elite, but I'm pretty sure it isn't. But if it is, I'm always gonna be buying Elites now, even though I'm pre-ordered. Yeah, Joey really Legano versus the Dirt Runner Standard. So uh, that's gonna suck. That's really annoying for the wheels. So that's my mistake. Um, but 349 of these were made. This is DIN 295, or, yeah, 295. So, uh, that's pretty cool. And we got the Monster Angelo, but that is a big win for me. I forgot they actually put those on these cars. Because I have a 2017 Junior, and they definitely didn't have it on it. Um, one other problem. Thank God it's a show car, Lionel. I'm not going to be using this for anything. Yeah, that's my complaining. Now I have to open up this hood that doesn't matter which car I do with this on, it takes forever. So what you do, you grab a little tiny screwdriver here and you poke at it. So uh, yeah, the engine detail hasn't changed at all, but it is a beautiful scheme. Now I must quickly mention this. If I remember, maybe I'll add a photo, but if you watch my Watkins Glen vlog, this isn't actually the car that ran. The sponsors were swapped. They didn't have the other version, so I bought this one. So basically, this is the car he ran, okay? I kind of forgot about that. But this is the one he ran at, like, Talladega. So as close as I can get to it, I'm going to keep it. So, yeah, deal with that. Um, I think another key is that for the standard elites, they keep the same body, and they just remove the chassis and stuff. It's it's a very stupid system, I think, for Lionel, because, I mean, what... What difference does it make? I mean, what, do you maybe flick this back open, get more detail on the bottom? If the main viewing piece is the staying the same, why have two different versions? That's what confuses me. It just makes no sense whatsoever. They didn't make a 164 of this car, which sucks, but I can understand that. So the closest thing I got to that is one of these two cars, and probably the STP car. So get over here and look the racing stream. Uh, so, yeah, that's the closest you can get to it. What I should, oh my god, what What I should have done, oh, it's up there. I should have bought the Aftershocks 124, and I'm going to do that one day, I bet. And there's a specific reason why. I have all the other versions, I just don't have the 124. So, if I ever see that, I'll probably actually try and pick that up, just to kind of complete, like, a set, you know? I think that would look pretty cool, because I don't have a set in my room, I don't think. Uh, no, I don't. I could get the set of the Dale Jr. Exalted Last Ride, but I don't have the 164 or the 118. And then I bet I'll get the 164 and probably at Christmas, but I probably won't get the uh, 118. Or 118, no, sorry, 187, not 118. Sorry, oof, that's a big mistake. Um, I guess I actually kind of do have this card, though. I, I don't know if they made a 118 of this car, so who knows. That's just me rambling up a bit. But um, let's take a look at this car because it don't stay at all. Uh -huh. 
I'm gonna show one more thing now. My desk is very messed up that whenever I just place them, they just fall. So I did that with my other car that happened to this. This is why I can't move them at all. I'm just like, I'm just gonna put that down for now because I don't trust that. That always scares me. Having like, it holds. I'll just put up. I'll just block all the wheels and stuff probably. Uh, except for the ones on the mat, that'll work actually. Uh, anyways, take a look at this car. On the front hood, we got the. Oh my god, it's so light. Oof. On the front, we got Petty's Garage and Monster Energy and the Chevy logos. Uh, we got. Oh, that's why I was on the stand. Yeah, because Monster Energy. Okay. Uh, 43, a Mog, Mal, whatever those contingency sponsors are. Richard Petty Motorsports, Goodyear. NASCAR, Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series, a couple other contingencies, Snooker Rookie of the Year, Cook and Clothes, Pioneer, 43 Medallion Bank, SDP, US Air Force. Worldwide Technology, Mac, something else, Bubble Walls, Monster, Mac, Coca-Cola, uh, American Ethanol Fuel, my thoughts about the shop, um, Petty's Garage, Petty's Garage, Alsco, the Rookie Stripes, ZL1 Camaro, 43 Chevy, Anchorage, I forget what happened to them, Wallace, 43, and that's it. Um, paint chip galore over here, ladies and gentlemen, got a giant one right here, here, and here. Um... That's only the actual major paints. I, I see there's one more like that. Those are the only major paints and chips. This one, there's like a little one. I can just like sharpie that even. I probably won't actually because it's the one 24. And I don't like doing that to these cars because if you mess up, it's 60 bucks down the drain basically. Uh, that annoys me. This car was, I think, 100 bucks. 112 bucks. And it was 26 ducks for imports so uh probably not worth my money i should have brought i just bought an elite and maybe hoped it was in canada because u.s shipping is a beep um yeah that was a mistake by me there's a lot of mistakes by me on this car but um i want to get a bubble 124 and i'm sure i could have bought a better one i didn't see the aftershocks if i saw that i was like i was gonna buy that one easily they had a warthog it was an elite and autograph though so it was way too expensive and they had this one autograph but i don't like buying autographs I like getting them. Like, what's the point of just saying, hey, I'm going to buy an autograph version. That's kind of stupid. If I'm going to get an autograph, I'm going to get it in person or have a friend give it to me. That's what happened with my Logano hat. If a Logano hat, a friend got it signed for me. I didn't have to buy it. And there's some, like, NHRA trading, or not trading cards, hero cards that I signed because a friend gave them, gave them to me. If that's how I'm going to get them, they're still, like, you know, fan basically signed. You know, I... When people look at the collection and say it's autographed, I you know for a fact that usually it's probably not actually autographed. Like yourself, they just got it autographed and you bought it autographed. That's just like a rip off for me, honestly. Like it's not worth it. So, uh, yeah, that's why I didn't do that and I bought the regular version. And so if I see Bubba again, I'll get this signed. Um, but I am surprised only 300 of me that these were made. Um, the 124s I just have like a strange way of selling. Um, actually, I don't know what this den is. I've never actually had really good dins with, uh, this is actually 165. I don't know, probably like 500 of these were made, probably the Logano ones. Uh, the Dale Jr. was 341. I know like 700 of those were made. So, yeah, stuff like that. But, uh, that was my little rant. So, um, if you do see this car and you want to pick it up, uh, make sure you get the late version if there is, because, yeah, it sucks sometimes. But... On the bright side, it's a bubble car, so I will take it because I support Bubba. And he's my favorite driver, second favorite, third all time, but second current. Yeah, I'm also realizing now. I think when I met him in uh, Watkins Glen, he just signed his name on the trade or hero card. I guess that is a signature. But I think he switched in 2019, so that's kind of annoying. But thank God I have that autograph as well. Uh, so I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. So, uh, yeah. If you want to, go check out the Watkins Glen vlog I did back in 2018. It's a crap video, and I don't like how it went out when I edited it, because I edited my face out of it, because I was like, you know, face words and stuff back then. Wish I would have done that better, but if I ever get all those photos and stuff back, I will redo that video. You bet you I will. Because it's really bad. But if you want to go check it out, because you can see this car picture in it. Uh, well, kind of. It has Medallion Bank here. Pay his crutch there. But, uh... Yeah, it's basically the same card. So, 
Hello guys, enjoy, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you never miss another video. And, uh, Friday I'll probably in my next review. Yeah. Um, I've also just realized, whatever happened to Medallion Bank?